There was a prophecy I gave on Sunday. Is that correct? I don't know how many people that remember that prophecy concerning Abia State. This past Sunday. Today is five days from that prophecy, correct? Where I was telling you what God showed me concerning the governorship candidate of uh, the People's Democratic Party in Abia State. There is a man. This man is actually from my place. He's running for the office of a governor in my state. Something happened in 2021. 2021, I was in a revelation. A lot of my eyes. The man stood before me and was holding a candle. Suddenly, the candle he was holding went off. Just very quick. Boom. The minute the thing went off, the thing left me. Where the Lord told me that, uh, showed me a revelation, where the man appeared before me, holding a candlelight, and the candle went off by force. And I told you that signifies death and burying of someone's glory. We prayed for him and said we are going to follow it up. And 48 to 72 hours from that prophecy, as the prophecy has gone viral already, the man died. The man died. So tonight I want to send a condolence to His Excellency the Governor of Abia State. Dr. Okezia Ibazu, I want to send condolences to the family of Professor Uche Ikone. Um, it has been long, such messages have been coming, you know, but that last week, it became a stronger burden that I've never known how to, you know, take it away from me. The only option I had was to make it public, but it pleases God to allow what has happened. So my, so my condolences, condolences my condolences, condolences to the family. family. I, pray I pray that the Spirit of God dwells upon, upon them. them. I pray, I pray that, that the Spirit of God condones them. them. I pray, pray that the Lord restore this great loss of them, of them and the great son of Abia to the glory of God in the name of Jesus Christ. And we believe that everyone shall die. Hopefully that when we die and go there, we all will meet to part no more. To God be the glory.